Well, Hellions, good morning. It's a sunny day outside. She may not be able to tell, but she's lonely. I'm lonely. Everybody's gone. It's back to work. The holidays are over. Oh, it's time to put our noses down to the grindstone and make stuff happen. Maybe start the new year out by cleaning some windows. <laughs> now that I've got a good camera, you guys can see how nasty they are. Okay, it's just a reflection off my phone. Nothing to get too excited about. Um, I do have someone that's going to be uh, giving an estimate on doors and windows because, um, like I said, the holidays are over and Angie will hopefully, fingers crossed, be here th in this house this year. So we need to start getting this thing, the bathroom that I have, that I've been working on for over a year now. Actually, it's been longer than that. And um, the, these updates and stuff that we have to do to the house before we uh, get ready to sell it. So things have to start happening, is what I'm trying to say. Hi, Buffy. Can you give everybody a nose five? Nose five? Nose five? There you go. Now you just dirty my lens. Thank you. Actually, you didn't. Did you? Oh, yeah, she did. Ew. Buffy juice. Uh, do you guys see that? You see the blue sky over there? You see the dark sky behind me? And, well, this dark sky behind me is headed this way. It's going to rain. So I'm back home now. I had to go and get some parts, and then I'm headed out to uh, to work on a car. But, um, oh, there is blue sky behind me. There's not blue sky over there, and that's the sky. The sky over there is the stuff that's headed towards us. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm really not. I don't lie to you guys. I don't lie to anybody. It, I can't remember the truth half the time, so how can I remember a lie? So, anyway. And besides, it's bad, bad character to lie. Okay, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to get organized and go work on a car. Well, it was supposed to have rained today. I'm not complaining. I do a lot of not complaining, so in doing a lot of not complaining, am I actually doing a lot of complaining? I try not to. Um, but anyway, uh, it's not raining. The weather's perfect today. I've been busy all day, which is also good for me, not good for vlog kind. So... Uh, we will be drawing a Patreon uh, winner today for all those awesome people that do that extra step and help support what we're doing here on Patreon also. Um, because I didn't mention it yesterday, but we also have, uh, like, I just got through getting a memory card for the camera too, and it's like, eh, everything just nickels and dimes. So, um, that, that's about it. I'm headed to, uh, get parts right now, and, um, yeah, we'll see, uh, We'll see what else unfolds with the day, but I'm very happy that it's turning out to be a good day. Wow, that happened way too quickly. Look at that. Well, the day's almost done, and I wanted to get some uh, video of, of that right there, just to see how the GoPro does with that. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yes, I can't wait to take a sunset picture with this thing. Oh, that'd be so cool. Well, today has been a total autopilot kind of day. It's a quarter after seven already. So all the, the labor's part of work is done for the day, thank goodness. Oh man, I'm tired. It's been, it's been a long day. Um, I've got a bunch of paperwork to do. I know we saw, I haven't said anything today. I realize this, that I have not said anything pertinent to vlogging. It's all been weather and working, I think. It's after seven at night, so. Uh, here is one thing. Oh, oh, here's something for you. It is that time again to where I am archiving vlogs. So in case you guys didn't know, I will go and archive all of the vlogs like this. Just like that. See? Look at all those vlogs right there archived. Because I want to save them forever and ever 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 and ever. However, the video quality now is a lot better than what it used to be. And you can only fit 4.37 gigabytes of information onto a rewritable DVD. So as you can guess, I used to be able to get like almost like seven to 10 vlogs on one DVD because the video quality was so low. And then I started rendering at a higher quality because that's what you should be doing now. And not, not recently, but over the course of the last two years, I started rendering at, at better video quality. And so now I'm fitting anywhere between like one to three vlogs on each DVD. Now that I'm rendering at a higher quality, there will be one, one vlog per one DVD. So I need to figure out a, uh, a better way of archiving everything permanently. And I've heard that 
memory cards and memory sticks go bad after a certain amount of time. So I don't think that, that that's a feasible way. And I, I don't know. I love the DVDs because it's something that's tangible. It's not electronic. It's not going to fuzz out on you. So I don't know. Post in the comments down below, guys. What would be the best way to archive? I'm thinking like memory card or even an external hard drive. But in 15 years, is that external hard drive still going to work? I don't know. So anyway, okay. There we go. Vloggable material. Yes, I did it. Oh my gosh, I made it here just in time, I think. And I wanna show you guys, they have not taken down the uh, tree yet for our city. So I wanna go and I wanna get GoPro footage. It's right over, where is it at? Right over there somewhere. I can't see the screen, it's kinda small, but it's over there. I wanna get GoPro footage of it so that you guys can see a little bit more in detail of how, I don't know why I have such a fascination with it. Never mind. I wanna stop talking now. As promised, the tree. I mean, in, in all actuality, this is just kind of like a test for me to see um, what it looks like through the eyes of this camera. Probably something like this, kind of better. See, uh, see what kind of footage it gives. But yeah, I just got through, like you saw, I went to Office Depot, and oh my gosh, the employee there was so weird. Well, first of all, somebody stole something, like, right when I was there. I didn't see him, but... It, like, just happened. Like, dude grabbed some pens and stuff, and then he just walked out the store with them. I mean, just walked out the store. So they got on their radios and everything, and that was kind of weird. And then the employee that was ringing me out wanted to shake my hand. Hello, I'm so-and-so. And I'm like, fist bump. Okay, that's weird. Have you guys ever had that happen? You go to just, like, buy something at the store, and the guy's, like, wanting to shake your hand? That's weird. This is it. This is a small announcement. This is also the Patreon drawing. I, I know I mentioned it yesterday, like shamefully in a shameful plug. Um, but again, and I mentioned it today too. Oh my gosh, this is sounding really bad. But um, we're doing the drawing. These are for all the patrons from last month. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can help support us even more than just watching and thumbs upping and commenting and sharing um, by going down below in the description and clicking on the Patreon link and um, offering to sponsor us like anywhere from a dollar to whatever you want to do uh, every month. It really helps. We sincerely appreciate it. Everybody that helped out last month, you're in here. And where do you guys get this month? Well, I will tell you, you get not just one, but two of Angie's homemade potion jars, and you can put anything in it that you want. And from Dark Candles, you get um, a Halloween wax scent pod, um, Hocus Pocus, Cryptic or Crypt Moss, Black Rose, Full Moon. Oh, they're so Halloweeny smelling. There's there's like one there's like what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten with a little uh, Lilith vampire in there, and you get the skull candle. All this stuff, one drawing right now. Now, here's the kicker. Next month, um, we are going to be giving away the uh, Bloody Bath Mat, $5 or more, um, and that will be the contest uh, for this month. So make sure that you do it this month. Um, you know, like, go to patreon.com and put in your amount for this month, $5 or more, uh, and you will get... Well, you won't get, but you will be in the running to get, I have to be careful, I have to say this, how I say this, um, you'll be in the running to get the bloody bath mat. This is a real bath mat. It's kind of a, a novelty item, so it's not meant for everyday use, um, but you put it down, and if your feet are wet and you step on it, it instantly turns blood red. Bloody footprints. It's awesome. It is so cool. That we will be giving away next month. So, oh, I haven't drawn a name yet. So here we go, guys. And this month, everybody is in on this. So, I'm just going to pick one at random. This one here, uh, this one feels like a good one. It fell on the floor. I'm retrieving it. Oh my gosh. Ben Larson. Uh, the BDL Express. Oh my goodness. 
Dude. All right, so congratulations to Ben. We will get this to you. And where do we go from here? Oh, we're gonna do cock. COC, commenting on comments. Whoo, if you're new to the vlogs, don't think that I just swore because I simply did not. It's an acronym. And uh, we, oh, we also have um, one more potion jar of Angie's to give away. So that will be in a subsequent contest. But uh, this is done for now. Um, and that's awesome. I'll put that in there and we'll get that to Ben and we'll do, why don't I just, uh, do, I'm just gonna, you know something? I'm just gonna roll on into this. Capazone 2, what happened to you? I haven't seen you for a while. Are you okay? Make sure you comment if you're watching this because I haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, Walter Holbury, you say first like and you were first. And you also say, um, that you know that I use O'Keefe's hand cream. Did you know? If you put a heavy application on your hand just before bed and put it on every or put on a very tight fitting goat skin glove, your hand will heal almost overnight. I did not know that. Um, I, I had to remind myself last night to get up because I was just about to fall asleep. It's like, oh, I got to put some of that stuff in my hand. So they are they are getting better. It's just I don't remember that stuff. And that's why they get so cracked. Uh, Whirly Bird Productions, Adam Owens, I got all of your messages today and you say that, you know, it doesn't do any good now after the storm, but an idea on how to make a blackout bag. And yeah, it is kind of important to be prepared, um, I guess. And I, I mean, I've got some stuff around here. I want to get this taken care of because now that we've got the camera, you guys can like see all the crap I got back there. And it's like, yeah, I need to get doors on there, which is in the works, but that's neither here nor there. The reason why I say that is because I was thinking of like survival items that I'd put in the closet and you guys can see the closet. So that's how my mind works. Wow. Jason Flesher. Hi, Troy. I always take my shoes off when I'm visiting friends and family, and I never wear any kind of shoes or slippers if I can get away with it, if I don't even wear socks. Excellent. LJ Mike 1204 Angie, I think Troy is pretty fly for a white guy. Oh my goodness. And Adam Owens, uh, you also meant to say it the other day, but when you went outside showing the storm coming in, it reminded me of your Blair Witch spoof from like day 40 or something. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, that was so funny. That was fun. Bren, Troy's become that guy he, that leaves his Christmas stuff up past New Year's, lol. Well, yeah, I always used to. It always comes down like the, the weekend after New Year's. I actually turned the lights off early this year, which is not like me. And you say Angie's always put to work at Troy's house. Um, and Well, it's our house. It's hers and it's mine. Monica Bredesen, Valentine's already? I just got rid of Christmas and New Year's stuff. Dope! Mr. Bro, thank you for all the information on uh, uh, my cure for my crack fingers. <laughs> Uh, Nicole Flynn, uh, Buffy, I want you and Coda just to stay home. It always makes me sad when you have to leave. I know I've said this many times before, but I can't wait until you get to stay home forever. Troy and Angie, the end of these videos always makes me sad. Please check in. Let us know that she got back to Canada safe. She did. Um, and she's been busy at work and doing stuff after work today, so... Um, and in fact, um, she just got through watching the vlog and then she realized that, oh my gosh, it's so late. Uh, Mr. Bro, uh, again, don't forget Desperate Housewives. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I am Vash. What time did your power come back on? <laughs> it was around 11. It wasn't that bad. Andrea, Andrea Grills. Oops, I never watch your vlogs anymore and I feel bad about it. But hi. Hi. Start watching again. Things are interesting, typically when Angie and Phoenix are here. Not so much when they're not, but... I try. Kerry Ann Olsen, all the Twister movie references I thought of during this vlog. Yeah. That, I think that's where I got debris from. And then it, it, debris is spelled debris. And it's just funny to, you know, say debris instead of debris. The one and only Lindsay Bird. Hoping and praying and sending good vibes for you and Angie to be together with no goodbyes as soon as possible. Also for your mom and dad. Thank you for sharing your heart and just being you. <laughs> I don't know who else to be, but you're absolutely welcome. I mean, I don't see how people can be fake. I'm really not fake. I'm, I'm seriously not. Uh, Caroline, uh, Canadian trucker gal, thanks for selecting my New Year's resolution as a winner. I really do need to finish those crafts. I was out shopping tonight and saw one aisle of Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day stuff and another aisle full of Easter stuff. What is the rush all about, I ask? Well, speaking of Angie, this is her. So, hi. <laughs> I'm doing COC. So anyway, guys, happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh no, my god, you Sink this shit. <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore. Lieutenant Dan, he got mad. <laughs>